Christ in union, unison, your conquering hand, O Lord, for wisdom opened mouths that were mute, and gave eloquence to the tongues of infants. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. We continue this great week of Easter, and continue to revel in the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. With him, the, what happens in our lives can be helped and made better. With him, what happens in our world can be healed and made whole. We come before God our Father and pause this night and offer this time to him. As we gather then, in the presence of Christ Jesus, who is wherever we are, let us offer to him firstly those times of failing in our lives, secure in his love, and in his mercy. He raised de the dead to life in the spirit. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. He bring pardon and peace to the broken in heart. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You make one by your spirit the torn and divided. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. O mighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. So let's pray. O God, who have united the many nations in confessing your name, grant that those reborn in the font of baptism may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. We ask this by our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. So, it's time to have a sit down. Tonight is Thursday, and on Thursdays, of course, we, uh, we look at the Gospels. We study the Gospel for the week which is, uh, the Sunday which is coming. And this week, of course, we have the uh, Gospel that's from John. It's chapter 20, verses 19 to 31. If you want to pause this uh, video and uh, grab your sheet that will have been sent, or get hold of your Bible for a moment, go for it and pause it. And then we will uh, go through our formula to pick it apart. I'll give you a moment there. Okay. Let's read the Gospel for Sunday. When it was the evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. And the disciples rejoiced that they, had saw the, they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. But Thomas, who was called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger in the mark of the nails and my hand in his side, I will not believe. A week later his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them, and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out with your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe. 
Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples which were, are not written in this book. But these are written so that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that through believing you may have life in his name. Oh, there we go. John's Gospel, so uh, always get a bit tongue-tied in John's Gospel, don't we? It's all, uh, I believe in him, and he believes in me, and I believe in them, and they believe in me, we all believe in each other, and we believe, oh, it gets quite, quite, uh, quite something after a while so what we need to do we need to bring up our um, formula that we use each each week as we pick apart the gospel and have a good look at it and so we have uh, the six the six w's remember these who where when what why and wherefore okay so let's have a look and see at what we have here okay so who is in the passage well, we got the dis the first part. There we go. Have the uh, disciples. Disciples, of course, means I hear you jump, jumping up and down in your living rooms, going, "Yes, followers. How many disciples? Ooh, uh, how many? Hmm, the twelve apostles. The more than twelve disciples. We know quite a few of them eventually. Okay, so we got the disciples. Um, who else have we got? We've got fear of the Jews in that that first uh, verse there. The Jewish people, of course, and we're interesting here, we're not talking about the Jewish people, about the Jewish authorities, the leaders. And then we've got, here we go, our superstar wives, Jesus, yeah, Joshua, I hear you say that loudly. Uh, the blessed one, there he is, uh, comes and uh, he's there. Uh, who else do we have? Uh, the Father, I think it's referring to uh, God there. Interesting, I think John, isn't it? Uh, me and the Father, one on I and the Father, one, ooh. Look at that, we moved down. We've also got the Holy Spirit. We received the Holy Spirit. Don't hear of that very often in John's Gospel until now. So um, we know about the Holy Spirit, of course, don't we? Because we know we're so used to Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. So we know it's part of our makeup as Christians. Um, Holy Spirit is the action, the action, the very being and the willing power of God at work everywhere. In your living room right now, in here, a little bit. There we go. We got all them. Here we move on now. If you forgive the sins of any, oh, hello, we've got some anonymous stuff there. Any, who could that be? Well, it's anyone. It's you, me. Uh, and then we've got all. Oh, here we go. And then we've got the camera. Thomas. Well, we do know about, about Thomas. He's a twin. Hey, there we go. Uh, who's his twin? Don't know. There we are. Again, if you can answer that one comment, let me know. Uh, now, he's one of the twelve, the twelve apostles. Apostles, disciples, crowd. So, the disciples, one of the, uh, the, the chosen lot. Um, the apostles, chosen lot, disciples, the followers. So, uh, you're a disciple. So, who else have we got? Well, we've got other disciples. Um, moving on. Um, We've got, uh, who else have we got? Oh, we haven't got any more. Thomas comes back again. Move over, over the page there. It's all Jesus and Thomas. Who else have we got? Um, disciples and so forth. That's the characters who we've got. Where is it happening? Well, we know where this is happening. It's happening uh, in the house where the doors were locked. Where is the house? Jerusalem somewhere or thereabouts. Uh, we think we know, um, but it doesn't exactly say, and it is nearby, it's certainly nearby where the temple um, and uh, where everything has happened uh, during the previous couple of days. So to see that one, uh, where they met, don't know where they met, but they were close by, they weren't far, because we know they were back and forth to the temple um, for a while. Okay. So, uh, that's where it's happening. Uh, when is it happening? Well, the clever clocks there say, well, it's happening in uh, John chapter 20. That's when it's happening. No. When's it happening in the story? Well, John's Gospel, remember, each Gospel is different. It's got a different um, setting. Uh, Mark's Gospel, Jesus arrives, does loads of stuff, dies, we get a hint of his resurrection. Matthew's Gospel, 
Ooh, starts a little bit more uh, stuff. It starts with who begat, 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 and then Jesus arrives. Um, and then he, uh, uh, we have the, the kings, all that lot. We have uh, flight to Egypt, we have growing up a little bit, we have baptism. He does lots and lots and lots of stuff, and then he dies and he rises again. And we've had some bits from Matthew. Luke's Gospel, ooh, we start with uh, uh, angels and uh, coming to Mary and all of that stuff. Uh, and then he, then, he, then he goes to Bethlehem and then he's born and, and we have all the shepherds and he, grows, he goes baptised grows up gets baptised does lots of good stuff all the stuff goes to Jerusalem dies and rises and we get a fair little bit of that as we'll get on Sunday again we'll have the road to Emmaus part 2 now John's Gospel if you remember John starts John's Gospel starts when yes I heard you shout in the beginning that's why starts in the beginning of time and John's Gospel, of course, is going all the way through time, starting from time, that all this is leading up to a great big dinner party that Jesus was having on the night he was betrayed. It's the after-dinner Gospel. It all leads up to that point, and then from there he's betrayed, and he's taken away, and he uh, passes through his passion, he dies, and rises, and here we go. So, slightly different. That's when it's happening. This is... Uh, happening in the great moment of revelation in John's Gospel um, as we're learning that the stuff that was started at the beginning of time is now beginning to hold uh, bear fruit <sighs> all that so far we haven't looked at what's happening that's the next W, number 4 what is happening, well Let's go through it bit by bit, chunk by chunk. When it was evening, the first day of the week, first that day, the first day of the week, aha, you know that is Sunday. Never had Sunday then, um, but uh, it's the first day of the week, which is the, is the day after the Sabbath, because that's the final day when you rest, it's the next day. Um, first day of the week, which of course we, we have devoted to the resurrection. Each Sunday is the resurrection, that's correct. Um, the doors of the house, they were... Uh, the disciples were met with lot of fear of the Jews yes, political thing there mm -hmm. Jesus was executed for political crime treason against Caesar um, or, or to put it that way um, and of course they, all his followers are guilty by association really uh, they don't, the Romans tended to round them all up mm. so uh, they're a bit afraid so they, they, that's why they're locked away they're hidden, they don't want to be caught now look what happened, Jesus came and stood among them, boom, wow, look at that, um, and peace be with you, peace be with it's supernatural, it's, a, it's beyond nature isn't it, the doors are locked, you don't just appear in a room, you don't, I don't, it's not a Star Trek thing, it just appears there, Jesus has command over nature, why, well of course John is trying to let us know that Jesus is divine God therefore God can do whatever he wants and if he wants to appear there it can appear there because he made the world so Jesus is part God that's what we're learning from John and says peace be with you Shalom a great greeting you should use it all the time really uh, not good afternoon mm -hmm. maybe we should say peace be with you more often after he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Look, it's me. Not surprised, they must have been pretty gobsmacked, to say the least, if not terrified. Doesn't make sense. He showed his hands and his side. Look, I'm the one. Now, they've heard about all of this. Some of them might have watched from a distance. Um, they know about it. Certainly, the, the uh, Mary would have told them. And uh, there we are. Look at it. Proof. Great proof. The hands and the side the wounds that, do, that, that are part of his death that gave life big stuff I have that on Sunday then the disciples rejoiced and they saw the Lord of course they did oh not half um, understatement of the century I think that one Jesus said to them again peace be with you as the, oh here we go John's gospel as the father has sent me so I send you remember the words of Paul we are the body of Christ here we go the Father sent me, so I send you. We're being drawn into it. That, that as soon as we are commissioned, we become part of Jesus. Oof, heavy stuff. Uh, how are you commissioned? Well, you're baptised, aren't you? If you're not, get baptised. Job done. Sent me, so I send you. When he has said this, 
Ah, now this is weird. Very different from the other Gospels. John is not telling the story as it happened. John is pulling all the facts together and trying to build them up into something. Because he breathes, he comes and says, peace with you. He proves who he is. He says that we are part of what he is. And how are we going to do with that? He breathes on them. Life giving breath, breath of life. And says, receive the Holy Spirit. He then puts the presence of himself, God and the and Holy Spirit within us. The resurrection is ours. So says Jesus in John's Gospel. Therefore, we'll become part of the divine plan. Ooh. Okay. So, it says, receive the Spirit. If you forgive the sins and they're forgiven them, retain the sins of any they are retained. Well, that's to you, that's to me and the other clergy and the bishops and the authority of the church. It's an authority of the church thing. It's saying to the apostles, I give you authority. Look at that. To forgive sins in my name. Wow. You can't get more powerful than that. All the stuff that clergy do, all the stuff that the bishops get us to do, all the stuff the apostles get the bishops to do, I'm solving. Hmm. It's pretty serious stuff. Strong stuff. Good stuff. So here we go. There's the birth of the church. Very different to Luke. It's Pentecost in Luke. Here we go. It's John divine but Thomas who was called the twin was not with them here we go and you can read your notes beneath, beneath that about Thomas so the other disciples said we've seen the Lord and unless I see the hands and nails but Mark and the sign of the hands I will not believe fair enough fair enough kind of getting really um, quite a hard thing to believe so a week later the disciples were again in the house and Thomas was with them ok just as well Although the doors were shut again, because they told him they were shut last time, Jesus came and stood them and said the same words, Peace be with you. And there we are. And, to and he said to Thomas, Interesting. How did he know what Thomas was thinking? John wants us to know that Jesus is the... Fine, that's correct. It's God. So Jesus knows because he is God. He was always going to do this. His death and resurrection is no surprise to him. It's what he was going to do. Then he said to Thomas, Jesus said to Thomas, put your finger here. Here we go. You're a human being. We are. You need a bit of evidence. Here it is. Ugh. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt but believe. And here we go. Thomas is the one that gave us a great cry, that, my Lord and my God. Wow. In John's Gospel, my Lord and my God, says to Thomas. The great, uh, um, it, 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 it's the solution to John's Gospel. We've been trying to, John has been trying to hint all the way through that Jesus is God. So I'm the Father one, and I'm the Father one, and I, I, we and the Father one, and whoever the Father is, me with him. That stuff simply summed up by my Lord and my God. That's what Jesus is. Jesus, though, of course, he is divine, but still understands us. Have you believed because you have seen me? Fair place. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet come to believe. Oh, that could be you. Because that's quite hard work extraordinary thing isn't it he's lifting the resurrection out of that room these words these words through John are lifting it beyond that day that evening and they're lifting it through time there's a hint there in John that there will be millennia of people who, who believe but have yet not seen him how do we believe as Thomas has told us and the others well now next bit now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples which are not written in this book why not oh what a shame how good if it was brilliant oh, it would be a long read oh dear but you know you can't like if you write too much lose the point You've got to leave it at the climax of the story. My Lord and my God, there's the climax. But these are written, what we've had so far, 
so that you may come to believe that Jesus is the it, right here we go that Jesus is the Messiah the Son of God and that through believing you may have life you may have life in his name you Messiah Son of God Holy Spirit you how about that Holy Spirit one two three and you John rounding off his gospel bringing it bringing the resurrection into a very um, personal thing for you the reader saying that this is where you benefit there we go that's the gospel for Sunday um, uh, so the next part is why does John that's well, why is John because John is bringing you into the resurrection and letting you know that God has always deigned to do this and that Christ is divine is with you already go okay. and wherefore the last the last W so we've who where when what why and wherefore the last W or what's it got to do with you I'll let that one sink in I'll let that one sink in uh, your doors are closed at the moment aha uh -huh. And is Jesus with you? I'll let you answer that one. You know the answer. I know the answer. Shout it out if you want. I can't hear you. You can hear me. But I think I know what you're about to say. Is he with you? Peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Bless to you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness, this bread to offer which earth has given in human hands are made, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Bless to you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness, this wine to offer fruit of the finer work of human hands, to become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all of his church. Graciously be pleased, O Lord, to accept the sacrificial gifts we offer you joyfully both for those who have been reborn and in hope of your increasing help from heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God, who is right to give him thanks and praise. It is truly right, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but during this time above all to lord you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with pastoral joy every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. When the Roman supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Jonathan, Robert, Nick, our bishops, your clergy, and all your people, whom you call to your service. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Apostles Bartholomew, Mark, Anne, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. In the presence of Christ, let us call together upon our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I'm not worthy to receive you. Can he say the word and I shall be healed? chosen people, proclaim the mighty works of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Alleluia. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring us your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. May Christ grant you holiness to follow him in faith, hope and love and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit come down and remain with you this day and forevermore. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.